my name is Tisha Morris, and I worked in Dr. Vicky Lai's lab. And in this lab, I got the opportunity to work with a form of EEG testing. I was told an EEG can be compared to an MRI, which led to my first question. Between both of these testing, which is more effective, an EEG or an MRI? To start off, EEG stands for electroencephalogram or electroencephalography. An MRI stands for magnetic resonance imaging. The EEG measures the electrical activity your brain creates, and the MRI uses magnets and radio waves to create an image of your brain. However, the MRI can create the same detailed images for any other part of your body, but for now we'll be focusing on the brain. Comparing an EEG and MRI, there are many similarities and differences, so I will only name a few. And we'll start with the similarities. Of course, both forms of testing have their own way of reading results and having the physician go through them, but they both can find tumors, epilepsy, seizures, or other problems in the nervous system. While going through the tests, you cannot move because movement actually causes problems in the results. And also, each test can be time consuming, though they're, they both are safe and painless. The EEG simply records the electricity your brain creates, but does not shock you or create any harmful electricity. And the MRI uses magnetic fields that do not give short-term or long-term effects like the ionizing radiation does in CT scans or x-rays. Now for the differences. MRIs use the atoms in your body to create the images. And these atoms are called hydrogen atoms. And the EEGs use cells in your brain that work together to create the neural signal. And these cells are called neurons. Now. Both machines can find the same disorders in a person's body, but they can also individually find certain disorders that the other cannot. For example, an EEG can detect certain sleep disorders, comas, or find out if a person is brain dead. Whereas an MRI can find multiple sclerosis, a traumatic brain injury, or hydrocephalus. They each can find these different diseases due to the fact that there are different types of each testing. For MRI, there is also functional MRI, which is also known as fMRI, breast scans, magnetic resonance angiography, also known as MRA, magnetic resonance venography, also known as MRV, and cardiac MRI. There's also quite a few for EEG, like routine EEG, ambulatory EEG, EEG video monitoring, epilepsy monitoring, sleep EEG, and neurofeedback EEG. So in the end, either one can be more effective than the other depending on the situation, but in most cases an MRI is more effective. Which leads to my two ending questions. Who in the United States does not have accessibility to both of these technologies and how can we make it more accessible to them?